Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another very interesting video. Today I'm giving you a Nigerian living story time. As a young American girl born and raised in my hometown where I spent most of my days, I'm just kidding. But your girl was born and raised in the States, moved to Nigeria, and I've had plenty of crazy experiences, including literally getting chased out of a Nigerian nightclub at gunpoint. So we're telling that story today. Stay tuned if you don't want to miss it. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. But before starting this video, be sure to also give this video a big thumbs up let me know if you want to see more story times comment down below let me know what you thought of this story let me know what crazy stories you have yourself be sure to share this video with anybody who needs a good laugh or a good scare <laughs> and last but never ever least be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video thank you and let's get right into this scintillating story it's really crazy <laughs> I should just give you guys everything blow by blow so we could build up to the main coat coat which is getting chased out of that club with a gun so there i was bored out of my mind as per usual in lucky lagos nigeria your girl was looking for things to do and of course nickster was with me and we were finna try and go out now previously we had made three friends very attractive friends and they invited us to have dinner with them and a few other people i decided i wanted to wear one of my crochet wigs so i wore this super cute curly crochet wig i wore my burgundy American apparel top with my burgundy babes and feline skirt and you know everything was just fitting very well your girl was looking sexy if I'm not mistaken Nicole wore a purple skirt and her wrap top we were looking really takeaway and we knew what we had intended to do really just look good and tension on them now like every other night we go out to tension we literally just got really sexy and we're getting ready to go we didn't think that anything crazy would happen but we were rather unpleasantly surprised now now fast forward to when we met our friends at our little plot that happened to be Bay Lounge in Lucky. Now I can mention this place because that's not where everything went down, <laughs> but we met our friends there. Typically when we go outside, guys are trying to chat to us. Your girl's a 10, so I mean of course, and the sis is a 10 too, so is to be expected. This night was no different. So amidst the impending trauma we were about to endure, guys were really on our case. At dinner in particular, there was one occasion when we went to the restroom and literally men followed us into the female restroom. It was absolutely ridiculous. And they would not allow us to pass until we engaged with them. Now they were not necessarily offensive, but it was already feeling like an unsafe situation because they were blocking our exit forcibly and they were trying to force us to chat to them. Thankfully, our friends are extremely protective and they came to rescue us from that situation. And as they did, of course, everyone was staring hardcore, typical, but we just made our way quickly back to our seats. Now, following that very chill time, <laughs> we decided to make our way to hang out with one of our mentors who happened to be a Nigerian celebrity who I'm not going to name. You guys don't need to know. Let it be known, former mentor, and a few of his people. When we would hang out with them previously, Nothing crazy really happened and thank God that he just felt the need to really protect us and look out for us because we were always very safe and I can say wholeheartedly that I didn't get into much trouble because he was so vigilant. Now mind you, our friends knew who he was and they didn't really like him very much because there are some interesting rumors about him, which I won't get into so nobody guesses who this celebrity is. I mean, you can take your guesses down below, but I'm not gonna confirm or deny anything. <laughs> they dropped us off at the club and we made our way in, expecting to have a normal, relaxed, fun evening. Boy, were we wrong. <laughs> Now this club on a normal evening was always full of celebrities and your normal lucky people, I suppose, or let me say your normal island people because it was like an island hot spot. Now we were always on VIP, even if we weren't there with any celebrities, I mean, we're cute. So somebody's finna invite us on their table. That's just the bottom line, that's just how it goes. So that's where we were. And we happened to be next to this very popular rapper in the club. So, I mean, he was just doing his thing. I didn't know that people were still checking for him, but I mean, he was being announced or whatever. They were playing his music while we were with our own celebrities on another table. In this particular club, there are a few different spots. So there's a big center 
center area and there are tables on the perimeter. So we were at one of the tables on the perimeter. Normally we're in the center area and with our little crew of celebrity friends, this one musician who I happened to be rather besotted with at the time was trying to chat me up. So let's just say he's really cute, he can sing, but his career wasn't that popping at the time, but he was trying to chat to you girl. Again, this is a normal thing. We're used to this kind of thing. And our mentor figure, he was always super protective. So all these guys that were legit like flocking to us, he always kind of kept them away, you know, and kept us in a very safe position. So I was minding my business, you know, collecting all the compliments. So he was there telling me, oh my God, sorry, you're so beautiful. Oh my God, sorry, I love your hair. I was just eating it all up. Little did I know there was some beef brewing between this rapper and some other people. Now, unfortunately for young Nixter, she was in between two or three comedians who were on her case as per usual. Mind you, these people had no business being on her case because they were very married, but um, it's not uncommon in this country or this industry for very married people who feel that they're so famous to come on to very beautiful young women. So while she was fighting them off, I was, you know, talking to my celebrity boo musician or whatever. Again, as he was just complimenting me and telling me how much he loves my violin. Now, for whatever reason, he would like be foreman for me, you know, even though we all knew he was really on my case. And he would try and act like he wasn't really that interested or whatever. But whenever other guys would come up, he would fight them off. It was very interesting. And then of course, when I got in a relationship, he was a bit miffed, but that's a story for another day. Again, while we were doing our own thing in the club, minding our business, dancing to our tunes or whatever, being fine girls, being slay mamas, that beef continued to brew and things began to get a bit heated. Now, let me give you some slight background on this rapper. He was in the corner table on the perimeter. The whole like place was a big square. So he was with his crew, my guy was sloshed and he was starting to talk some mad smack. It wasn't that deep yet, but things were getting a bit tense. And I never for once thought they could become dangerous, even though people's brains were starting to touch so to speak so as he was getting a bit more wasted our celebrity friends were like gosh why is this guy acting out like he's being real crazy he needs to calm down and stop talking so much snap because he was really egging on another person in the industry who is actually well known for his lack of qualms when it comes to wiping people out now this is not american hip-hop or nothing but there are some people who have no issue resorting to dangerous means means to get rid of their opponent. So my guy was talking mad smack. I was like, oh boy, you better deliver because all this smack that you're talking, somebody's gonna get hurt in this club. No, I was next to my celebrity boobie or whatever. And he was like, totally chilling. He was like, no, don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen. I got you. And then a few other of our celebrity friends were like, don't worry, you guys are good. We'll protect you in the best of anything. And I was just enjoying life really. As we continue to enjoy, continue to exchange glances, continue to chat, continue to dance, and just like live a very carefree life. <laughs> we heard glass break and we saw a bottle of Ciroc all over the floor. Next thing you know, we heard this loud pop and we were like, no, could this really be happening right now? And next thing you know, more bottles shatter. People are brandishing bottles at one another. People are bringing out knives. There's a brawl happening literally right next to us. And I couldn't find the hope. I was so horrified. I could not find Nicole for a good 15 seconds. I was looking everywhere. I looked all around me and I could not see her. I heard her scream. I heard her yell Zara and then she yelled stop. Everything around me went black. Immediately I screamed her name and somebody grabbed my hand only to see it was my celebrity Bube and one of his colleagues, another celebrity. They quickly grabbed me and tried to usher me out. But I was like, no, wait, we have to find Nicole. Nicole was caught between two of the flowers. She was like literally about to be punched in the face but I quickly grabbed her arm, pushed back at those that were attacking each other and tried to rush her out. I heard another pop and my fight or flight mode kicked in and I knew we had to fly. So my celebrity Bube grabbed me, I grabbed Nicole and another one of our peers grabbed all of us and we ran out of there fearing for our lives. Bottles were flying, glasses were being thrown in the air, people were throwing fists and yelling and I had never experienced anything so absurd in my life.
As soon as we ran, we got into one of their Range Rovers and we quickly, quickly got our bums out of that club. After we were very clear of the club, we stopped on the side of the road and my celebrity dude was like, Oh my gosh, girl, are you okay? Is anything wrong with you? Are you scratched or anything? Thankfully, I had no scrapes on my body. I was totally fine. As for Nicole, someone poured a drink on her and punched her, but otherwise she had no scrapes. Just the bruise I was sure would result from that very forceful, very angry drink drunken punch from God knows who in the club. Our mentor slash protector asked us what had happened. Though it was so fast, I was in a position where I saw everything. This is what I told him. So this rapper, we haven't given him a name yet. Let's call him Big Wayne. So this rapper, Big Wayne, was really, really sloshed. Like I said, he had been downing alcohol. And though I was, you know, mingling with my celebrity boo bear, whatever, I was paying attention. I'm very observant. And anybody who knows me knows I really, really love people watching. So I do not drink. I do not smoke. I do not do any type of drugs. When I go out to the club, if the music is not gingering me, just observing people was going to ginger me very, very well. And I was watching Big Wayne pretty closely. Big Wayne was making a lot of empty threats. If I was listening correctly, his target nemesis had actually been inciting nonsense in the media about him and talking a whole bunch of mess about his music. Now, nemesis was another musician, obviously, and a very good one at that. But again, Nemesis was not opposed to doing dangerous things to remain in the spotlight. And he a girl was not about that life. So I was like, damn, with Nemesis in this club though, is something gonna go down again? I did not sense any danger. Rather, I did not think there would be any real danger. But my guy, Big Wayne, proved me very wrong. I continued to tell the story and I heard Big Wayne say, as he got a bit more wasted that, oh, Nemesis is gonna hear tonight. He doesn't know who I am. This guy, he has no idea who I am, what's his problem? Mind you, it's not like Big Wayne is as big as this nickname I've given him would imply. He's not anyone that looks like he can really be fighting. Hey, alcohol makes people do the darndest things. So, my mentor now interjected letting us know that Big Wayne had been looking for a way to return to the spotlight after his most recent failed music. Now, I was not ready to be no scapegoat for some dying rapper, but hey, I guess that this club setting was just what he needed to light a fire because this was all over the blocks the next day, but we'll get into that. So I continued the story after my mentor's interjection and I was letting them know that Big Wayne now started saying, Nemesis, come and fight me. What's your problem? Come and fight me. Following that, one of Big Wayne's crew members threw the first bottle. You guys remember that bottle of Ciroc that I said dropped on the floor? That was the same bottle. When that bottle fell, hell opened up and her fury released itself. As soon as that bottle fell, Nemesis's crew immediately pounced on Big Wayne's crew. The gunshots commenced and Big Wayne started fighting. Everyone began to run. Now what I didn't mention to you guys is that as I was running out of the club, I caught a glimpse of the gun. Right as I was running out, the assailant started to raise it in order to shoot. And right before the final gunshot that happened, right when we were out the door, it was pointing at me. He was close to the stairs and I was also there too. I didn't know what was going to happen, but again, fight or flight. And I chose to fly. I could not allow my life to be snuffed out by some petty fight to get your name back in the light. So I told them my story as my celebrity boo bear whatever was holding me and making sure I was good. Ooh, it was scary but we made it out and I'm telling you this story now. Now I didn't tell you this story years ago when it happened because I was a bit scared and I didn't want anybody to guess where this was at or who did this, whatever. But I think enough time has passed and I can let y'all know what happened. Now our mentor dropped us off at our house in Lucky and we were totally good to go. We thanked him profusely, we went back inside, we slept. And the next day, we got all sorts of worried texts from our friends like, Yo, were you guys at such and such club when Big Wayne and Nemesis were brawling? It was literally all over the blog. All the mags carried it, it was crazy. And Big Wayne got what he wanted, I guess. His name was back on the lips of the people. But I mean, it wasn't for the right reasons and his music is still trash. Oh. 
I literally didn't even tell you guys Big Wayne was in my DM. My was trying to holler at me. He was actually trying to holler at me for the longest time. But we'll get into that in another story time. So if you want that story time, let your girl know down below. Because that one is you say. He's just one of several celebrities to be on my case. So I have crazy stories for days. But um, if you guys want them, you have to let me know. And you have to get this video to at least 2,000 likes. Anyway, digression aside, Big Wayne accomplished what he wanted to, but at what cost? He put so many lives at risk, and thankfully, by the grace of God, nobody died, but a few people were definitely injured, and a lot more pretty traumatized. So what's the takeaway from this very unique story? Well, you guys, be careful when you're going out. Make sure that you're safe and always be extremely watchful. I mean, thank God your girl made it out of that very much alive, but I may not have. And literally my first time really experiencing a country, I could have lost my life in a very tragic way, in a club, for God's sake. So guys, life is short. Be careful. Make sure that you surround yourself with people that have your best interests at heart and make sure you don't enter environments that could become dangerous. So yeah, y'all, that's the story. If you like to give this video a big thumbs up, be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you want to hear my other crazy stories and let me know if you've had any unique experiences of your own. Be sure to share with all of your friends and your loved ones and last but never ever least, subscribe to your girl's channel. Let's get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. It's like really close, you guys. I'm very, very close. Ta-ta for now. I love you guys. <laughs>